Welcome. We are Wisconsin Robotics. We've worked hard to develop innovative approaches to the competition missions, and this year we are proud to announce our new rover for 2025, Aurora. Uh, this year, Wisconsin Robotics set out on one of our most ambitious challenges ever, completely redesigning our rover for this year's competition. We completely redesigned our subsystems, drawing inspiration from rovers of the past and exploring new ideas to further elevate our rover's design. Our newly designed Swerve chassis allows us in-place rotation and allows us to easily navigate obstacles. Our new motor placement ensures that no electronics are at risk when we're climbing up or down steep slopes. The chassis design has been modified to be slimmer and lighter using carbon fiber tubes in place of traditionally metal parts. The arm itself features carbon fiber tubing and new cyclical gearboxes, which offer zero backlash and higher gear reduction in a more compact form. With a new rover, the electrical team designed a ground-up power and logic system. We designed around the core concepts of performance, modularity, and ruggedness. First, for the central components of our system, we created two power distribution boards to handle stable logic power channels and power to the motor controllers. Next, we acquired new motors, motor controllers, and encoders to ensure accurate monitoring of positions at all times. We also updated our radio system to have more distance, signal strength, and a higher bit rate. Our new sensor system allows us to react to unexpected conditions rapidly with an IMU and GNSS sensor, and our improved camera array will help us drive and observe the science site more accurately. This year's science method built off of last year's life detection assay and added a second assay for the same purpose of life detection using a different method. Our drill bores to a depth of 10 centimeters, pulling dirt up inside a sheath around the drill and discarding samples until the target depth is reached. Our first science capability is a fluorescence assay that detects the presence of proteins in our soil samples. We expose soil samples to biodium AccuOrange, which binds to proteins in our solution. The samples are then exposed to 480 nanometer light, producing 598 nanometer light when proteins are detected. This year, we are rebuilding the code base from the ground up using ROS2. The core concepts of our system are based on reliability, robustness, and simplicity. New developments this year include a swerve drive logic that can provide a specific rotation, direction, and velocity to the robot. To better control the arm, a simplified inverse kinematic system based on 5 degrees of freedom is used to control the arm in a 2D plane. The third dimension is controlled by a linear rail allowing for a simplified but more reliable IK. We also have revamped our approach to the autonomous challenges to focus more on pre-planning our path using existing LiDAR data. To achieve an optimum path, we created an algorithm that searches for the safest path between two points using Dijkstra's algorithm and ASTAR. During navigation, a depth camera on the rover is used to detecting common obstacles and avoid collisions. For accurate GPS locations, we are planning on integrating an RTK GNSS system for centimeter accuracy location. Finally, we have implemented the newest JOLO algorithms and training models to accurately detect water bottles and mallets. This year, the drone team is taking on a new challenge of building a quadcopter from ground up, focusing on extended flight time, high payload capacity, long-range control, and enhanced stability in high wind conditions. With an airframe weight of around 2 kilograms, excluding batteries, the quadcopter carries a total payload of around 4 kilograms. The team leverages several testing platforms to ensure competition readiness for Aurora. To test the dexterity of our arm, the team uses a test box that contains many of the equipment servicing and ERDM challenges, such as switches, USB ports, and a keyboard. We use a 5 kilogram toolbox with a handle to ensure the arm has sufficient carrying strength for competition. To evaluate our software's functionality, we use a variety of simulation environments such as Arviz. This platform allows for testing of our LiDAR system without having to run the rover. The team tests full system functionality on the snowy hills and landscapes of UW-Madison, focusing on long distance communications and multiple drive environments. Mission simulations provide teleoperation practice and opportunities to test competition strategies. With our system design and preparation for the competition, Wisconsin Robotics is ready to tackle the 2025 University Rover Challenge.